take that back again. <laughs> Charlie, you missed that on the song, eh? You see, let's 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 take your mustache of the song. Listen. Right, guys, are you ready for your meal? We dancing our piano. Oh. We are dancing our piano. DJ Paco Ray. Okay, people, welcome to Africa. <laughs> Yes, welcome to Ivory Coast. Welcome to Abidjan. <laughs> Je m'appelle Monsieur Mazi. Je m'appelle Monsieur DJ Pakorech. Je m'appelle Eze. Je m'appelle eh, Otumba. <laughs> and so, guys, this is how I welcome you to this beautiful episode of um, our daily content we you know produce for you right here. Today, we are going to speak about... Ivory Coast, we are going to speak about Abidjan, we are going to speak about Afcon, and we are going to react to the official song for the Afcon 2023 or 2024. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell you something interesting about this song. I'm sure you all know or you all remember this song. I will engage. There is this group we call Magic System. I stand to be corrected, but I feel like this is the best group that I have seen them being together for a very long time because as way back as when we were young, we were still listening to this group we call Magic System. And they are Ivorians. Yes. They've been together for such a long time and they are the official producers of the official song for the AFCON 2024, which features Yemi Alede from Nigeria and Ramadan Muhammad from Egypt. So the whole of Africa continent, they selected three countries to put the official song of the AFCON together. And Nigeria was part, Egypt was part, and the host nation, Ivory Coast, we can't leave them out. They were part. And so we are going to react to this song, get to talk about Ivory Coast, because this is their moment. We have to enjoy, we have to celebrate them. It is their moment. They are hosting the AFCON. So they deserve all the necessary attention. You understand? And so we are going to react to the song I would want your honest opinion about what you feel about the song. Um, the Ivorians, as usual, came in with their francophone vibe, which we know them. They've been doing it for so many years. They can't get it wrong. Yemi Alade representing the Anglophone countries, coming all the way from Nigeria, represented us so well on the song. Yes. One would ask, there are no Ghanaian artists they top, no. But I, I'm, I'm okay because, I mean, we've always had Yemi Alade as a sister in Ghana. She has been in Ghana a couple of times. She's done a song with the legendary Kofi Annan. She's done so much with Ghana. And so, to me, I recognize Yemi as a Ghanaian and also as a Nigerian. So, having Yemi in there represent both Ghana and Nigeria. No two ways about that. The Egyptian guy who also came on board, Muhammad Ramadan, also represented the northern side of Africa, and I feel that is perfect. One thing I felt left out was they should have at least brought somebody from East Africa, maybe Harmonize or Diamond Platinum. And also in South Africa, they could have added somebody on so that it will become a balance. We have uh, West Africa, we have Central Africa. Uh, I didn't even mention, like, we could have gotten somebody from Central Africa. Maybe uh, that man. I've forgotten his name. I, I, I'm going to do a content on him one of these days. You understand? And South Africa, so that it becomes a balanced, you know, project. But all the same, this is good. We are going to react to it. So if you don't know Magic System, this is Magic System. They were the official artists for the song, and they put that song together with um, Yemi Alade from Nigeria, and also Ram 
Madan Muhammad from Egypt. Somebody go ask you, say, Egypt have they get musician. What kind of song do they listen to? Yes, they enjoy music as well. Just that because we don't connect so much, we don't hear a lot of, you know, content from them. So we are going to react to the song. We're going to feel the vibe right here. It's in French. Yemi's verse was in English. I've done a couple of research, so maybe probably bring you some meaning. Remember, this is just for a reaction, for you to go and listen to the full song. I might be breaking in between for copyright reasons. Bear with me. Don't come and tell me, DJ, they talk to me, I make their song no play. If you want to listen to the song, go to their platform and enjoy. This is the official song. Aquaba is a Ghanaian word, but Africa, everybody understand Aquaba. Oh my God. Let me start it again. Let me plug in my headset. Looks like I was um, doing it from a speaker. And so this is the song Aquaba shot in Ivory Coast with Yemi Alade and Mohammed Ramadan. <laughs> And the song was them 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 open them open the song with the stadia and there is a, this iconic bridge in Ivory Coast. I have used that bridge before. It is very beautiful when I went to Ivory Coast. Aquaba means welcome. Ivory Coast welcoming all the African nation to the Africa. And we are here to react to it. is the francophone vibe you see you know francophone women they have something we call bapuka and when they hear beats like that i don't especially got in nigeria we're obsessed with nyash so the mapuka ladies go they shake go they shake not be the small nyash where they shake it is time for africa to come together you see the food where they serve they, they call them acheke acheke and when you have that food with tilapia, my Nigeria people, my Ghana people, Ghanaians, they are those who are from the western side of Ghana, they are familiar with most of the food from Ivory Coast. It is only the people in the eastern way they know they connect, but that food they call a cheke, you go bite your tongue. <laughs> There is something about Ivory Coast. They are very colorful people. Yeah. Well, I would say the Francophone people are very colorful people. Ivory Coast. Je m'appelle Pacorin. Kel H2. French and they speak, if you be wrong, you understand, come and explain. Oh my God, when Africa comes together, it is fire. Where yo, where yo? Where yo, where yo? I will explain that to you. Where yo, where yo, where yo, where yo? That is the chanting from the Ibijab people. This kind of strings that they play on their songs it has some melodic feel. Pay attention to the song. That is what is at the background doing. Ah, let me take that. Let me take that back again. <laughs> Charlie, you missed touch of the song, eh? You see, let's 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 take Yemi Stature the song. Listen. Oh, oh, guys, are you ready for Yemi Aladdin? Oh, oh, we are dancing our piano. Oh, we are dancing our piano. To Soweto. You see, Nigeria girl, he they rap in Jesse one time. And Nigeria, she they rap. The voice of Yebi Alade on this song. Ooh, Yebi.
wheel, 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 wheel. <laughs> and so the chorus simply means the crowd is okay. The crowd is already okay. Ayo, ayo. We are going to spoil the place. It got out there, they call up here, Koseho. Ayo, ayo. Abidjan is like that. Africa. With us, it's hospitality. Welcome to Babi. We are ready for you. So this is a simple message by the musicians that are, Ivory Coast is ready for Africa. Ivory Coast is ready to host Africa. And this is what we've been always calling out for. So I'm not going to play off the song. You have to go online and search for Magic System, Aquaba featuring Jemi Alade and Muhammad Ramadan. He's an Egyptian musician. He's a very big guy there. So, guys, this is where I'm going to end it up. But this is beautiful. The song is good. Listen to it. Give me your reaction. Tell me what you think about this particular collaboration. You feel like it was enough for us to have Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Egypt. I felt we should have had some people coming from the Eastern, probably Uganda, Tanzania, or somewhere, or Kenya. Then also probably somebody from South Africa could be the Lusotos and the, you know, Comoros and those places so that we can also experience their vibe and sound. And so guys, this is where I draw the other characters. My name is DJ Parker Rich. Let me know what you think about this beautiful piece of the AFCON. Bye-bye. <laughs> DJ Paco Rich.